Hello partners, this is a tutorial video for to show you how to uh, create a translation of the on-the-go platform. So, getting down, right down to business, I send you an email uh, detailing the um, what you need. Uh, this is the email or the username and the password. You're going to have to log in. It's the same for every partner, and it doesn't matter if everyone is working at the same time. It's just it's an overall uh, email. So you just log in. Takes a, be aware that the, because it's quite a heavy platform, it might take a couple of seconds to load. So here we see IO1, IO2 in all languages, IO3 and IO4. You don't touch IO3, IO4 or IO1. So let's say I want to do the um, translation for the Greek one. I just select it. And here I can see all 12 sources, modules of the project. Let's go, let's start with the first one. As you can see here, there are three types of, of icons. This is simply text one. This is an interactive element which is we are asking people to uh, perform some sort of uh, action. So we're asking them questions, so they have to, to record it, and these will be recorded in the platform. And then you have the certificate down there. Certificate is, uh, we send it to all partners if you want to translate it and upload it in each country uh, so, that they are, so that the migrants and the refugees and the whoever takes the platform will have it in their own language. So starting from, let's say, course one, setting the scene, all you need to do is go to the cog here on the, on the right, press select edit settings, give it some seconds, and then it's a simple editor. And you can write, just close it and replace the setting the scene with the translated version in your language. The same with the content below. All right? Please keep in touch. Uh, please be aware that you need to, uh, if it's bolded or capital letters, you're going to need to do the same. All right? You can directly copy paste it from your Word file anyway. And then basically, after you've done that, all you need to do is save and return to the course. Next one, start it, going to the edit settings, replace the title, replace the content, save and return to the course. So let's go to a different item. This is an interactive item. This is a learning activity. So all you need to do for that is to go to edit questions. Right? And, yeah. Edit, edit question. Now you can uh, translate the content. Right? Here is a content. Keep the, the URLs as they exist. Save changes to question. And then do repeat the same process in all edits. So this part here, this part here, you have to, again, be aware that uh, you need to, to change the, uh, the bolt and the size of the, of the letters in order to, to be the same as the rest. Save the, you basically do not touch anything else other than edit and save to do questions. That's the same thing. So here's uh, the editing for the questions, right? And after you finish with that, again, I have Renos here with me. Uh, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Uh, one um, little uh, detail on the questions. Uh, I was saying to Harris that uh, in, despite the fact that you need to translate the um, the questions, 
you need also to translate let's say the title of the um, of the activity of the question activity so as you edit the questions you have to head to overview tab and uh, the overview tab gives you this cog here when you enter you can edit the settings so you are able there to edit the title to edit, edit the title of the question activity um, nothing uh, that's all basically you don't need to do anything else just edit the questions and then head to overview to edit the um, title of the activity and then you save and return to the course by the way, you don't mind translating anything here on the left. It will be translated later by us. So your only task is to edit those activities, like the reading activities Harris was uh, mentioning, the question activities. And there is also a, qu a quiz activity, uh, which uh, we will show you uh, in a no. bit how to do it. Uh, certificates, I recommend not to do anything, just that we will give you a simple text uh, uh, to translate and give it back to us and we will edit the, the certificates for you. Thank you. So let's continue with uh, Harris. Yes. So we've done course one. Let's just go back. So, we go to the second one, it's the same strategy as before, again you have text, you have interactive elements, if you go again to the interactive elements just to reiterate what we said, in the overview you just edit settings, you edit the title, you save, and then you go back on the, on the same page and you need to edit the questions as well. So do the edit of questions and uh, yeah, so it's basically edit, yeah, edit, 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 edit.